night is a very special night because the um sometimes this thing happens where over a period of time a certain number of people an increasing number of people will bring up a subject or ask a question that's always in the same conversational vein and it's something that is a little random and entirely you know conversationally provoked by the other person and after a while i realized okay there's something going on here that such an obscure question or subject matter has come up again and again so i pop up to the library ask the librarians you know what's up with this and they go oh we've been waiting for you to resonate with this so with that we can teach you something <laughs> i know <laughs> exactly so um uh some of you will recognize the subject matter um but um yeah so any of you who've chatted with me over the last couple of weeks you may notice that what our conversation is connected with um the librarians um and um uh, let's see i think a few more people are going to join us tonight before we start i do want to mention um so between now and january i'm a little frenetic um and you know what with like moving to maine and all that so um i'm going to do my best to be here every single wednesday the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, the night before Thanksgiving, and the Wednesday before Christmas, we are not meeting. Other than that, I'll do my best. Um, and thank you all so much for understanding the other week when I wasn't able to be here. Um, I, I was definitely, um, the whole house buying thing and my dream house just magically appearing at the time when i'm looking in the exact place i felt called to look even though i didn't know why you know that that took a lot of rest on the flip side um but you'll notice the image behind me the virtual image is an energy grid and you see there's a person there with yeah, i'm gonna roll back so you can admire the beauty of this a human energy field and um, those of you who were here last week this is the sort of field that we were working on last night like you'll notice all of this energy is radiating from through and around this person and um, for those who want to learn more detail Desda Zuckerman wrote an amazing book, Your Sacred Anatomy. It's like $50 and it's a big fat textbook, but it's filled with understanding all of this energy. And she teaches classes. She, I'm falling apart now. There we go. <laughs> but she teaches classes that you can take online. Uh, some there's a price, some they're free. Um, and she's pretty amazing um i study with her a little here and there but um i'm not really into anatomy so sacred anatomy for me is as exciting as physical anatomy and which is not but i i have um always have a lot of questions for people who do know her stuff but you see this is all energy field it's very active and um some of the other energy fields that we work with are like mandalas like this is the shri yantra and this is all of the yantras in one so every energy grid that you would want to work with uh in hindu work is represented in here of course many of us are familiar with metatron's cube this is a very specific energy field and uh, you know the flower of life with our 
chakras <laughs> going one way or another. <laughs> So I mentioned these, uh, the librarians asked me to mention them. So I don't know what they got in mind, but they wanted to remind us or have me mention that um, mandalas, grids, networks, energy fields are not static. You know, they're not carved, like even though the ones I just showed you are carved in wood, they're representative of living, flowing energetic networks that exist for a purpose. And each one has its own resonance um, to bring it back to like my days as a chef. You know, all cuisine is beautiful, be it, you know, Chinese from, you know, Caribbean, uh, Jamaican, French, Swiss, it's all beautiful, but each one is unique on its own. It has its own resonance, its own frequency, its own techniques, you know, its own culinary style to work with it. Or, you know, as we brought up before about dancing, if you put on your, you know, clog hopping shoes, you probably will have trouble doing ballet. And if you are naturally called to tap dance, then you may enjoy other dances, but tap dance is where you flow. Um, or, you know, singing. Are you a coloratura soprano who loves opera? Or do you really love to rap and rhyme? You know, like, are, are you into jazz? You know, it's the resonance of frequency. No matter what work you go into, it's, you know, it's this grid that you bring with you is what makes the energy yours, what connects you with it, what makes it flow and function. Um, so they wanted me to mention this. Uh, and last week, of course, we talked about connecting with our energy grids and powering them up. Um, I did, you know, upload that. Um, so uh, I don't know what they have planned tonight. <laughs> but, um, so before we get started, if anyone has any questions or anything, um, now's a good time. Um, Bonita, that is not a question, but it's just a commentary on the technique they used last time. It was similar to Anashakti. It felt like but I mean, kind of like a, on a line of, um, you know, the debris and the, it was on expansion. It was worded differently, but it felt similar. Like Interesting. Interesting. Well, I, yeah. Um, I think I had the same thought. Huh? <laughs> well, that's very cool. I think um, I'm, yeah, I guess I kind of get what you're coming from because it was about opening up and f being receptive through the frequency of love and expanding all of your energy and releasing um, releasing blocks. But I think if you were f feeling very flowing and one with prana shakti. Um, as you were releasing blocks and opening up, it was opening you to what you're naturally receptive to. So, um, I mean, it was beautiful, like, you know, yeah. the way they described it to sort of love that, you know, kind of like love the entity within you that you don't want. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and tell it, hey, you can come back anytime you want. That, those are on the line of what you always tell us. With, with all of the, uh, you know, medications that you have taught me, at, at, at least, to, 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 to uh, not battle, but to encounter those entities within you. Give it love, release it, tell it it could come back anytime it wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there are times when the librarians sound like me, it's actually <laughs> reversed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I like they, that. They did kind of raise me, so. Yes. 
<laughs> pretty much everything I know, everything I teach, I learned from them. They're the ones who, um, you know, I mean, not discounting my parents and, you know, earthly teachers, but, you know. Um, I tell you, I'm applying it to other things. Like I went to the nutritionist um, for issues I have with uh, food sensitivity. And they told me to go on this fast for 21 days and, you know, cleansing uh, ritual. And they said, oh, you're going to have all this pain. You're going to have all these issues, you know, you know, quitting coffee and all that. And I applied the same theory and told them the same thing. I said, oh, I'm going to make friends with them. <laughs> My pain. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. And, and, the, and the nutritionist was fascinated. She, he said, that's the best description I've ever heard. I'm going to use that on my patients. <laughs> oh, that's so brilliant. Yes, Nancy. I have a question. You said that the Metatron uh, mandala was very specific. It, can you give me like a sentence or a paragraph about what that is or the primary things that you understand about Metatron? I'll admit I'm not a Metatron expert, but I've worked with him, you know, quite a bit long before I knew who he was, you know, in this life, of course. Um, I know that he is a teacher of angels and he gets things very organized. He gets those angels into organized grids and networks so that they're not just individuals doing their individual thing, but they have the power of the group energy and it gets them focused and aligned together. So the Metatron uh, cube is really very, very powerful. And um, it's about unification and focus and impact. Now others may work with it in a different way. That's just how I have been taught to use it. Thank you. I asked because a professional psychic friend of mine told me once that he was working with me and that that was highly unusual. And I didn't know how to interpret that. <laughs> well, Metatron's a powerful guy. He's very knowledgeable. He's in the Akashic Library a lot. Um, he has, uh, he helps organize angels to be protectors of the library. And um, he teaches the angels how to be effective with their skills and ability in a very positive way. Thank you, because when I read about him, I, I didn't think he worked with humans too much. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think he's doing it a lot more now. <laughs> Necessity is, you know what? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, let's uh, let's start with our welcoming invocation, and then I will leave, and the librarians will come in and share some sort of interesting lesson with us. Um, yeah, I, I think they might keep me around tonight. So hopefully, hopefully. If so, I won't be in my body. I'll be right back here somewhere um, behind my right shoulder in the grid of, in their collective. Um, okay.